morning. In this video, you're going to hear my dad and my uncle Adam and their friends say words that I'm not allowed to say or hear because I'm a kid. What do you think, Adam? We have a fucking comic book store. <laughs> I mean, I have to say that that they probably set me down this path. I mean, I I know that it was partly Spider-Man, but I, you know, honestly, I can't remember my first Spider-Man introduction. But I can absolutely remember the first time I seen the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The Spider-Man's kind of built into your DNA. I mean, they still make me feel. I mean, like I love the comics, man. I mean, Turtles in Time. If you ever played the first Ninja Turtles game on the NES. I don't see how OSHA has never been called on the shredder for the way he keeps the Technodrome. I mean, there's, like, it's a dangerous workplace. I, when I look at the first Ninja Turtles movie and I see where the foot soldiers hang out, their gang, you know, I think Shredder's the best party planner of all time. I mean, you can get free Marlboro cigarettes. Yeah, get these kids can, some pizza and beer. You can play arcade games and yeah. pizza. You got any cigarettes? Regular or mental? I'd work, well, I'd be a fucking foot soldier too. Something that has somehow not been mentioned yet. <laughs> Shredder's a great leader. Shredder Cam. The Shredder in the cartoon is always befuddled by he, <laughs> by the turtles. He can't find oh, them. Blasted turtles! Yeah, he can always he can turn his them. screen on and see them in their sewer hideout. Like, he, someone installed a camera there. Yeah. <laughs> they, they can don't, they can't into, follow the wires. They have no where, idea where they're at. Another always, thing that affects me when Raph goes out and he's in disguise, and all he's wearing is a trench coat and a hat, but no one can tell he's a fucking ninja turtle. Oh, yeah, some sort of punker? Huh? God, I hate punkers, especially bald ones with green makeup. All of them wear it in the cartoon. My biggest lasting impression is probably this right here, because I became a pizza person just <laughs> watching the Ninja Turtles. Right. I'd probably have to be uh, Raphael, because whenever I was a kid, I was a rage monster, so I identified as Raphael. <laughs> It's gotta be Michelangelo. He's a party dude. And dude. he's got nunchucks, those are the coolest weapon. He was <laughs> always the coolest when I was a kid. Now everybody likes Donatello because everybody's a nerd. You ever use nunchucks as a kid? I've hit myself in the face with fake nunchucks many times. Uh... I'm totally in disguise. This is Darth Vader going out for a damn milkshake. This is Darth Wrath. <laughs> when did you first see the Ninja Turtles? Oh, I had to, like two or three. Uh, my older brother Wes, he was watching the cartoons, man. You watch, you watch, you watch Turtles, and you watch X Men, and that was how that was how you knew it was gonna be a good day. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> You didn't know how it's filming. <laughs> What'd you feel when you first saw him? Oh, it was amazing. Four brothers, the Ninja Turtles. They're, they're turtles that become ninjas. <laughs> it's fucking and, awesome. And, and the dad <laughs> is a rat. <laughs> <laughs> Every fucking. <laughs> What's wrong with us? All right, you got your glasses on? Oh yeah. And and, and shit like cowabunga. <laughs> <laughs> becomes part of the part of our culture yeah. like, overnight. Between like Super Mario Brothers Super Show, uh, the Legend the Legend of Zelda cartoon, which everybody hates, but it's still amazing. And then the Ninja Turtles and X Men, those are our lives, man. That was a childhood. Oh man, it, get, it doesn't get much better than that, brother. No. Why are you filming? <laughs> Toys, pizza. Vanilla Ice. I remember my little brother got it. He loved it. Um, so me and him really bonded over that. Shredder was probably the biggest impression though. I think he's right up there with uh, Darth Vader. Damn, those are big words. Maybe as high as Kylo Ren. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have to say Leo? 
Well, he's the leader of the bunch, isn't he? He keeps them all in check. He's like the glue that holds everything together. Uh, I think he's a depressed one. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He was always angry and pissed off. I'll be honest. He reminded me of my older brother. I didn't oh. like him, you know what I mean? Like, oh, okay. So I think there's a little deep-seated issue there. Uh, I don't know, I always dug Leo. I was always, you know, I dug Optimus Prime, Leonardo, um, you know, people like Jesus. You know? <laughs> Leaders. <laughs> Leaders. Compared to, to Battletoads, turtles seem like pond scum. Can you remember the first time you seen it? I remember immediately being gravitated towards Raphael because he was the tough guy, and I wasn't as a kid. Yeah, that was <laughs> you <just> know? natural. <laughs> well, well, I remember the first time I seen it, uh, I was at a friend's house, Wesley Phelps, who I, don't, I hope he's doing well in life now. He had a tape, right, like on a, a VHS tape, and he's like, we gotta watch this thing. Yeah, um, he asked me if I'd ever seen it, like, um, and I was like, I don't know, 87? And he puts it in, and, and the, that opening starts, you know. To me, I mean, that song's just amazing. It's one of the best theme songs ever. Yes. I will always maintain yes. that. And the, the art style in the theme song, yeah. It's yeah. dark. And the theme know, song tells you. It, the theme song tells you. Oh man, when the shredder rips every, through the. It gives you their personalities. Screen, you know exactly yeah, it tells what you they are. are. Like those episodes stuck with me, especially that opening. So my grandmother bought me this a, a trade. She's and this is after I've already seen the cartoon. I've already been playing with them, and you know all this. Yeah. Stuff. And we've been playing with him. Yeah. Hell, I remember. I've never been more jealous than when you got trained for your birthday. <laughs> that was a fun time. She got me this trade that you know collected these, and in it, they're fighting these you know Triceratops people. And I said, man, I've never seen anything like it. Because Donatello hits a Triceraton like in the head and like, he, like snaps his bow. So he's yep. got two broken pieces. Yeah. He takes the jagged ends and just stabs him in the Oh, that's awesome. And I'm like, whoa, now that would never have happened on the cartoon. They're still just as exciting now as they were then too. I mean, and, and the, car a new the, the Nickelodeon cartoon is incredible. Yeah, I recommend that over anything. The way I felt playing the second, third, and fourth Ninja Turtles games on the Nintendo and the one on the Super Nintendo, Man, I think Turtles is, in time. I don't know that I can, Best nothing game. is going to capture that feeling in my adult life. Nineteen ninety, personal Sorry. pan pizza, free. Take that ship to Pizza Hut today. That's like a piece of your childhood that you can't get back. Can't, <laughs> well, no, no, not even that. That's a good question, because I would say, how about this? Uh, favorite movie growing up was two, and I did like three a little bit. Then I grew up and I realized that one, just can't beat that one. Uh, game, always going to be Turtles in Time. Uh, I love two, I had two. Game really pissed me off as a kid, unless I was at the arcade and I could dump mom and dad's 20 bucks down the drain real quick. There it is, boys. That is a very iconic and underrated game. I like the turtle select screen. They are missing a turtle. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's on the screen. Yeah, I knew that's what they'd say. <laughs> you know, I wasn't ever really a big fan of Leo. He was too much of a kind of a smart ass to me. You know, even though Raphael was too, there's just something about old Raph. Mikey, you gotta love, I mean, he's just hilarious. You know, he's awesome. He's, he kind of brings the gang together when everybody's down. He's that one guy, you know. Donatello, he's kind of the same way, but he's just really, really nerdy about it, too. And that's what I love about Donatello. Dustin made it all the way to the final battle. Oh, yeah. Shredder's oh, going yeah. Down. Shredder's going this down. Oh, boy. Super Shredder. Oh, man. Things are getting intense here. Now, this is totally Kevin Nash. We all know. I know. He's like, <laughs> Wolfpack. A lot of purple on the screen. Yeah. You know, it's been a long time since I've seen someone play that level. Is this it? Oh! Oh yeah. He went to the one spot that doesn't have a rail. <laughs> Look, there's no right. rail. No rail. <laughs> That's beautiful right there. Your ninja skills are starting to show promise. And I was hooked on the turtles until the Power Rangers come out. I had to be Raph because I thought being mad was cool and all that stuff. I always thought Raphael was the coolest, and then I'm learning later in life, Adam was always telling me everybody. Raphael yeah, was everybody's favorite. Everyone's Donatello's my man. Remember that. My wife always says that Mikey was her favorite. 
I know I I know I'd played around with Mikey being my favorite too, but I was really into rap. We always made Adam be Donatello. No, 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 no. I picked Donatello. No, no one, no, no, crowd. no one, no one made me be Donatello. No. Oh, he had glasses, so we thought he had to be the smart one. That's I remember. Or was that Power man. Rangers? I did love the cereal. <laughs> Edit that out, Dan.